So what's the problem? For starters, Somaliland is a breakaway region of Somalia. It holds election, issues its own passports, and prints its own currency, but has failed to gain international recognition, raising doubts about whether it has the right to sell land. Somaliland, which has 5.7 million people and which is bigger than the U.S. state of Florida, says it can do it as it pleases. Somalia called the deal illegal, but has a little scope to enforce its rights in Somaliland. Its military capabilities have been served by a conflict against militant groups, and Ethiopia has a much more powerful army. The deal is strategically important. It gives Ethiopia access to a global shipping choke point that leads to the Red Sea and the Swiss Canal. With a 50-year lease of the land, Ethiopia is expected to build a military base of its own, as well as commercial facilities, which will further inflame tensions. Several countries have already deployed naval forces to safeguard their commercial interests from conflict and piracy, and the existing power balance there could be altered by Ethiopia's presence.